Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So we'll wait for that soft force train to be done. So I don't know if it's on about sixty something percent now. So it might be about three four months before it's done. And uh, once we're up to part of the train and we'll be we'll be good to go we'll have to have them like overhaul for like a month or two uh just to make sure they're fully ready we'll load those um active satellite missiles and we'll be uh, more than good to go really i'm more than interested just to see how our ships perform <sighs> i mean it, i mean the last time we actually saw the aliens was like 2071 if we don't count the ones in Tau Ceti. So it's been a long time. Right, so we'd also need to refuel, resupply. All easy stuff. Alright, that'll be done before we know it, and then at least we can build things faster. Right, Lubricant Prime, Industry, good. We've got some industry there. Bloody hell, it's gonna take ages though. <laughs> Did the transit complete their orders? Uh, they should have. Are we having people go there now? For fuck's sake! Well, I don't, I don't understand. Why are they not going there? <laughs> I really don't get it. They're all just going to New Carthage. Stop going to fucking New Carthage! Go to fucking Syracuse! My bloody god! Bloody tools. I just... Mm. Irritating. Very irritating. Alright. How's the basilisk doing? 49% fuel. Not bad. Not bad. Right, we're looking at 66. Yep, be done before we know it. Uh, at least with the basilisk, I mean, uh, we'll have fuel that we did, had to do very, very little for, so that's fine. We'll have to find a use for those R2 satellite missiles. I might have one launcher dedicated to them or something. I mean, carry five of them, we could be kind of sparing with it. Well, we could be kind of free with them a little bit. Fire off like one or two into the system. I mean, it depends, really. Um, if I just enter the system from Lumen 16, which is something that we do need to do, then... Uh, yeah, we'll be, we'll be really close, actually. We might even be in sensor range. It depends on the alignment of the system. Well, the alignment of the uh, planets in the Proxima system. So, um, I should check that out, actually. Right, aggressors completed overhauls. Transits complete orders. Great. Maintenance problems. Right, transit. We'll have you carry some construction facilities to Duplical Prime for a while. Right, low construction. Unload. Right, good. Get that done. I mean, at least they're rested now, so that's fantastic. I really wish they'd go to Lubdukal. It's rather irritating. So we've got 55? Oh, that's New Carthage. Sorry. 220 mines, goddamn. 10 construction factories. Uh, we'll get another 15 there or something like that, and then it'll be done a lot quicker. With that research, we'll be um, doing even faster as well, so that's great. Right, so we could have the NCDF go and be productive. Oh, actually, I can have the um, original Blue Nine come back to Earth. Pick up that other 
PDC. I should uh, have the other PDC unpacked and assembled on Earth as well. But we'll do that once we have uh, that one. Alright, move to Earth. And... Load PDC components. For fuck's sake. Right, there we go. Then... Uh, give you some complicated orders. Venetian. I mean, Carthage. I think it's like a system-wide protection thing, so I don't know. I mean, well, to be honest, one PDC on uh, New Carthage would protect New Carthage and Syracuse, so that's really handy. Yeah. Unload. Ah. Uh. There we go. Fantastic. Keep going by with the time. Hmm. Need to check up on the um, temperature of Lubrical Prime and Phoenician 4. The Phoenician system's gonna be fantastic. I mean, if we're gonna have three Earth-like worlds in there, plus whatever other moons we get going, then there's, like, um, Phoenician B to look at. Phoenician B's got some amazing minerals. Oh my god, so many. What we need to do is get, uh, Lubical Prime's production going, like, get lots and lots and lots of mines there. Get lots of, uh, lots of production, and we can use that as our mining facility production center. Get all these mines sent out all over the galaxy to different systems. Start setting up a mineral chain, setting up some industry on different worlds that we need. It'd be fantastic. Alright, gravitational sensor suffered a problem. I'll be right. Alright. Uh, let's get in there. They've had a good few months of training, I mean, they'll be alright. Right, you're on your way. Can't stop them now. Hmm. Oh! I, uh, need to do something, actually. Uh... I was thinking about maybe designing mines in the future, but the only problem with mines is the fact that they um, kind of explode all at once. But I think we need to generally overlook, well, oversee creating a proper doctrine, like a fleet doctrine. Hmm. We may make a very large carrier. I'm thinking maybe in the region of 50,000 tons. I know it sounds crazy. Or maybe 30,000 tons. We might step up by another 10,000 tons per carrier design. I mean, uh, yes. Ah. That crew deployment. Yeah, so that's the entire fleet, isn't it? Ooh, we found a new jump point in the Ross 154 system. Ooh. Do I want to be a naughty boy and send a Berlin through? I think I do. Mostly because we can have something interesting happen. I think I'd kind of love to discover a new system with, like, worlds and shit. If I lose a Berlin, well, it's worth it. That's so cold-hearted, but, you know, I, I want to find shit. <laughs> I need new planets. And if we can find, like, proper good planets, then that'd be fantastic. Right, let's take a look at the lubricant system. Uh, so the planets... Where's the Lumen jump point? The Lumen jump point. Oh, okay, it's not as close as I thought it was. So the planet's over here, or something. Mm. Yeah, about there. So is the wreck of the Zambian in orbit, or what? I'm not too sure. But I mean, um, what's the range then? What's the range? So from here... Oh, fuck, so I got here, it doesn't. Ah. It's about 210 million miles, kilometers, whatever. So we could fire off one of those, and um, that'd be alright, I suppose. Alright, 
Civilian ships are moving now. Oh, let's go to fucking Syracuse. Fuck's sake. <sighs> Hold on. Why the fuck are you going back? Stop going to Lubical Prime. Fuck me. My god, just stop going there and go to Syracuse. That's all I bloody want. Right. How many in construction? 25 over here now. That's good. So at least it'll be done and unpacked in time. Does that actually count as security now? I wonder. Ah. Uh, no. No, it does not. Okay, that's uh, good to know. Fucking wish these ships are going like. Oh, right, there's a piece DC ether. That took a long time just to get here. Hmm. Right. So we might have a month or two months more train and possibly three, depends really. I kind of do want to get that 100% and then at least they're going to be great in action. Well, at least they'll work together fine. Ah, I just kind of want to make this episode interesting. I kind of want it to be the episode where we go to Proxima Centauri and we actually get some combat going, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Hmm. Look, mate. New Carthage, mate. I I'm, I'm sending you a PDC in time. Just chill. Chill, mate. You got some mobile infantry there. We'll stamp on you a little bit if you get out of line, but uh, you're fine. Oh, we're going to go for that new jump line, aren't we? Hmm. Hmm. Wow, we're coming in really close. Bernards. What do we have here? Ooh. 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 Oh, we're probably going to die, aren't we? That's not that bad, it's fucking cold as shit. Ooh, that's hot. That is very hot. Terrestrial, dwarf planet, gas giant. But that's not, that's, that's quite interesting. Very interesting. What's the captain of the Berlin? I think if we get somebody with really high survey, then we might be able to get, like, more minerals. I don't know. I don't know if that's an actual thing, but I'm going to try it. 50% is really fucking good. And who's that? Hmm. Right. Mail just ships. Ah, Berlin. Yes. Jacob Chan. 50% survey bonus. Right, what the hell was the name of the world that had the good... Right, two. Okay, if you die, then it was my fault. But if you live, you shall be the most glorious of survey ships. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm going to tell you the soul sack. I can't be arsed waiting for them to, re like, to actually get to grow 100%. I'm too fucking lazy. 70% would be fucking right. Be right. Right, go to Earth. Refuel, resupply. Overhaul. Do we need to overhaul? Uh, kind of. Be worth it. Okay. Um, so I want you guys to have a bet to yourselves. There's a 50-50 chance it's going to die. So, I'm betting the Berlin dies, but I'd like you to live, so place your bets now then, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> ah, it's probably gonna die. It's probably gonna die and... Don't die. Please don't die. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Hmm. 
I need to start equipping these ships with some light actives or something like that, so then at least they can detect. I think the new ones have actives. Can't remember. I think I gave the Isaac Newton class actives. I'm not really. Oh my. Oh. 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 What do we have here? Oh shit. That's a huge EM. 91,243. How much does Earth put out? That's only slightly smaller than Earth. <laughs> Craig Corby. Is it a ruin? Huh. I mean, that's incredible. It doesn't even have proper sensors, so for it to detect that. Okay, so we'll have the Berlin hold up for now. Um, let's get Solsec onto this one. Let's take uh, Solsec over here. And we'll have an investigation then, shall we? Shall we? Not shall. Right. You should probably be over the earth by now. If they're not over the earth by now. Actually, no. Uh, fuck. They're not gonna be. Damn it. Oh, because they're traveling to fucking India. Fuck off, India. Sorry, Estonia. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. And then... Uh, uh Liverpool... Venetian... Uh, I would have to have you split up, transit and divide fleet. I guess that could work. Hmm. Probably wouldn't because we don't have like three. I need a third command, really. I might build a new command class and then it could move at the same speed as the carriers and then that'd be quite good. Um, I don't know if we're getting any combat in this episode. I think once we get combat I'll make it an hour long, but it, it depends, it depends. But that's interesting. I don't know if it's like an actual... I don't know. Hmm. Right. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna take a chance. We're gonna take a chance with the Berlin. So I want to scan that world because I don't know if it's an actual populated world. It's giving out EM, but it's not. I don't think it has a population. I need to know. Survey that ship, uh, that planet, please. But it's giving out incredible EM. Is that telling me the population? Or the distance? Let's have some days go by. Shit, I should check the um, intelligence. That would have told me if there's an actual race there. But then again. Population of new alien race detectors. <sighs> it might be ruins. That's what I think. It might be ruins. And if it's ruins, I'd love that. Because then what we could do is... Um, get the troop transport. Take some mobile infantry battalions over there. And a xenology, well, a xenologist team, and we could try and investigate the ruins. I've been told that you should probably take infantry and stuff like that with you, just because things can happen. I, I wouldn't. Right. We're over the world, and we haven't died. This makes me think he's saying, and it's gotta be a. 
It's got to be ruins or something like that. I don't know. I really don't know. Let's go over to here then. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, they don't really like us. Let's try and talk to them if we can. They're currently assigned to the Crocs de Gaal, but the Crocs de Gaal aren't talking. Right, they're neutral for now. I don't know. Let's see what happens. If we establish communication or something like that. I mean, they might be weaker than me, you know. It's like chances for the technology to differ, so... No idea. This is interesting, though. It's quite a nice little discovery. Alright, Soulsake's over the world, so if we need to bring Soulsake, then we can. Right, so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to have the troop transport head to Earth. And we're going to pick up some troops. And if we can invade the world, then we might do. Who knows? Right, so I want you to head to the loop culture point to Sol. To Earth. I'm going to have you load some ground. The mobile infantry. So them. You can only carry like two battalions. But yeah, that's a very interesting discovery. Hmm. Very, very interesting. I, I think it might be ruined, I don't know. I think if it's like an actual full-blown race or active race, then they might have had something in orbit, but... The Berlin's been in orbit, it is in orbit, and it's okay. I mean, if they're in a less advanced race, then I totally will invade them. And take the planet, and take everything on the planet. I don't know, it's really, really quite... ...intriguing. Hmm. I mean, this was from the Ross 1 Flight 4 system, which is connected to the Phoenician system, I do believe. Right. Berlin's completed orders. Nobody's dead. We've discovered minerals. What have we discovered on the world, then? Let's take a look at what minerals we have here. Mining. Yeah, that's definitely, like, homeworld minerals. That's every kind of mineral. I think this is a ruin. I really do. Something like that. Very easily made livable for humanity as well. I I legitimately don't think there's anybody here. All we'd have to do is um, decrease the amount of oxygen here and then it'd be good. We'd have a world with everything here. It'd be perfect for a colony. Absolutely perfect. And it has what might be a... Ruin. So we could possibly find advanced technology beyond our wildest dreams. All interesting. Right, Solsak. Right, we're overhauling. Uh, you know what, fuck, I'm gonna cancel that overhaul. They'll be fine for now. It's not much in the maintenance club, they can take like three years. We're gonna go to the Proxima, oh actually, we'll go to Proxima Centauri. So I want to, like, oh no, we'll go to Lumen 16 and then we'll go to Proxima. Uh, Transit and Divide Fleet, I don't know, we'll see. Then, hmm. We'll see how it goes, because we might have to divide the fleet a little bit. Ah, really irritating. But yeah, we'll see how that goes on. But that's really interesting. I mean, the Berlin's not dead. I generally expected the Berlin to die. But that's a rather... interesting discovery. Scan nearest body. Let's find more about this system. I mean, do we have any contact with these guys? We have increased our diplomatic relations. I mean, what do we know about them? They don't have any ships. I think it's got to be 
It's gotta be a, a, something. It's. I don't think it's an active race because I think we would have been like attacked or something like that. I don't know. Hmm. But that's a decent discovery. There's not much minerals on the world, but there's every kind of mineral. And that's important. I mean, it has like 1.1 million tons of geranium, so that's not bad. 103,000 tons of titanium. 126,000 tons of titanium, uh, neutronium. 162 of chromite. It's, it's pretty good. Pretty good. It would make for a fine colony with their absolute... with minimal terraforming, to be honest. Minimal. We'd have to take the chance. I mean, once we get our troop transport ready, we can send that to the world. Then we'll deploy a Xenologist team and some mobile infantry battalions. And yeah. But what intrigues me is the fact that we're increasing um, our diplomatic relations with that race. We'll have to see if we can, uh, like, make contact. If we make contact. Right, lots of people have been let go. Yeah, they're all arrested. Fantastic. Team on Earth is complete to the construction rate. Good. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. So we'll look at missiles now. Uh, we could go for the Cobalt Warhead. Would allow us to decrease the size of the warhead on the actual missiles to make them even smaller. But... Ah, uh, defensive systems. Uh, power and propulsion. Could do with that, to be honest. But... I could go for magnetic fusion drives and stuff like that, but meh. Uh, right, energy weapons. I'll go for make some focus in. And... Start on the capacitors, just with two labs, and then at least it's going on, isn't it? Alright. So, do we have anybody in the Lumen 16 system? No. I guess the fleet's still on Sol, isn't it? Okay. So, I think the special will have to be in the next session. I mean, we are coming up to almost two hours now. Yeah, they're in Sol. Okay, so uh, we'll have you move then, and then we'll split them up in the following month. So that works out alright then. So, um, move to that. Get that done. But yeah, that's a very interesting discovery then in the new system. Hmm. I'm generally looking forward to discovering what we might find that. I, if it's a uh, alien rune as I imagine it is, it has an incredibly high EM signature. I, I, the thing is, if it's a... I don't know, what could give off that much EM signature? We're not seeing any installations on the world, but perhaps we need to uh, actually have a ground team there, which would make sense. But, I don't know, say we found some installations, like some construction, some research, or whatever like that. But it's got a hell of an EM rating. 90,000 is a lot. That really makes me think there's got to be something in the world, you know? Right, so it's all sex over there. Okay. Split task group. Ah. Uh... Archer Crusader. Ah, fuck, I forgot to load the ECMs. Uh, ACMs. ASMs. Fuck. Fuck. Motherfucker. Completely forgot. We'll have to do go through there next time then. Fuck it. Do it all do. Alright, soul sec. Back to Earth. Ah, fuck it. Just do your overhaul then and we'll sort that out. Right, so we'll have a, one last look at the uh, system then before I bring the session to close. So. 91,517 EM. Political relations are increasing. Hmm. 
we are. Right then, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, do subscribe. And until next time, thank you, and goodbye.